Hello there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now you join me again in my outdoor studio. I have literally just finished filming two videos on my Am I a Chap series. Some fabulously dressed men have sent me their pictures recently and it's always great to pass my observations on those. But it got me thinking very recently about the way people are dressing in daily life. Because in the last couple of weeks, or in the last 10 days, I've attended a number of events that have led me to draw out my best clothes and get dressed up and show my best side to the world. So, you know, in the last week, um, a week ago yesterday, I attended a wedding in my local village. A couple of the people in my village got married in the church, in which I got married in 15 years ago. It was great to go back there. And then there was a big reception in the village hall with 100 people from the village. And, um, you know, it was an opportunity to see people in the way that they dressed. I also attended a big conference in work where, you know, I pulled on my suit and looked my very best. Um, I went to the theatre on Friday night. I'm filming this on a Sunday. Just on Friday, I went to the theatre with my wife for some live music, and we got dressed up. And last night, I took my wife for dinner at a Michelin-starred restaurant in a, in a neighbouring village, and again, we got dressed up, because these are the occasions in life that I think are the moments where one wants to look their best. We present our best image to the world to make a good impression, but to make ourselves feel good as well. Because don't forget, you know, the way we dress has such an important part to play on our self-esteem. The way we feel, our inner confidence. This is what clothing is all about. It's about enhancing our character. So imagine my surprise a week ago when I went to this wedding, when I was wearing a three-piece suit. My wife had gone to some trouble. She'd uh, bought a hat, you know, and uh, got dressed up rather nicely. I'd even bought some new clothes for my son, who was attending as well. He was wearing a jacket with matching uh, waistcoat and a pair of, you know, chino trousers, which matched the whole ensemble. He's only 12, so we, we made a bit of effort because he likes to dress up too. But then while you're sat there in the church and you see the other guests filing in, Imagine my shock and horror to see people wearing running shoes, trainers, um, you know, uh, normal shirts, sweatshirts into a community wedding. Two very well regarded people in my community getting married and people wearing, you know, work style boots to this event. And it made me think to myself, why would somebody dress in such a casual fashion to clearly an event, which is the one opportunity in the year where you get to put your best clothes on and show the world that you're a smart person. And it really did me, make me think. The, the obvious reason uh, is that, you know, people are influenced in the modern era by the way they dress because they're seeing people casually dressed all the time. But the thing which I really think influences it in this day and age is cost of living. You know, we live right now at a period where people are concerned about putting food on the table, about spending money on energy so they can heat their homes, they can put fuel in their cars. And of course, when you're faced with such decisions to make like that, buying new clothes to go out for a special event becomes a challenge you know it becomes something which you're likely not to do you're going to press your normal clothes into service rather than buying something special so today i thought i would talk about frugal style about how you can dress well without spending a pile of money and i've got some examples for you now when it comes to dressing well but with a frugal element to it um, let's use shoes as an example as we go along here because shoes are a really good important element of your clothing because shoes can make or break your outfit you know if you wear cheap uh, plastic type shoes it's not going to look good even if you wear a 500 pound thousand pound suit cheap shoes are going to bring down the whole outfit good shoes can enhance an outfit really good pair of shoes can make a 50 pound suit 
look like a thousand pound suit. It has the ability to be, you know, to reflect its glory on the rest of your clothing. So let's talk about how we can buy shoes or any item really. I mean, I'm using shoes as an example here, but the same ideology can be adopted to all of your clothing. First of all, Male, mainstream sales, all right? Keep an eye on the sales. I'm forever receiving notifications through the post or email to tell me that companies which I've previously bought items from are having a sale. They might be a 20% off voucher, which is eligible or useful for a week. Um, obviously, there's the big times of year, the summer sales, the uh, New Year's sales, there may be holiday period sales wherever you live in the world. These are great times to make a purchase when you know that sometime in the future you're going to need something. So buying things out of season in a sale can often be a really good way of saving a few dollars or a few pounds because people, you know, say it's the end of the summer, they'll be selling off their linen suits or their, you know, their summer light tan coloured shoes. And you might think to yourself, who's going to be buying a pair of tan loafers in October? Well, not many people because they tend to be shoes that we wear in the summer months. But think ahead. If you can get a great deal on a pair of those shoes right now, put them in the wardrobe, they will be ready for you next year, next June or next May, when it's time to wear them again. Thinking in advance and taking advantage of the mainstream sales is a really great way of saving some money. And also, discounts. All right? When it comes to the mainstream sellers, they often offer discounts. So for instance, if you are military, veteran military, or you know, active duty or whatever, reservist, um, they often provide some discount for people in those situations. In the UK, it's very common for brands to offer uh, discounts for military, Discounts for people who work in the emergency services, so police officers, firefighters, um, medics and people like that, or paramedics. They'll often offer a service to people like uh, civil servants. And it's always worth asking, because if you work in one of those occupations, you can often save 20%. I know some really big companies, when I used to work uh, in the police service, Many big companies would offer 20% discount, and that is a really good deal. You know, that means you're getting something for a fifth of the price off, and all you have to do is ask for it. Now, you may not work in that profession, but you might know somebody who does. You might have a father, a brother, a sister, a friend, close associate, who works in that industry. So you can say to them, look, Charlie, I want to buy this pair of shoes. They're 200 pounds. You know, if you go in and buy me a pair of eights, um, use your discount, it's going to save me a few bucks. And I'm sure any good friend, any relative is going to be more than happy to support you in dressing better uh, and using their discount for you. If you're not sure if your profession offers a discount, normally if there's a staff association or a union which supports your profession, find out if they uh, have negotiated a discount. Go on the website, ask your representative what discounts are available and simply ask. And you never know, there are some amazing savings to be had. Now the other thing, the other area where you can save a bit of money when it comes to buying new items is the budget retailers. All right, there are many of them out there, outlet stores. Um, I mean, to give you an example, TK Maxx. All right, these are internationally renowned budget outline stores, outlet stores. Many of them uh, buy you know, mass uh, numbers of garments from companies as they, they come to the end of a, of a line perhaps of various products, or maybe it's out of season stock. They will buy a batch of stuff, they'll put it into storage and then bring it out for the, when that new season begins next time round. Uh, or they may even have companies manufacture items specially for them and sell them at budget prices. But for sure, TK Maxx, I mean, I've had many fantastic deals from there, and I'm wearing one right now. This tweed jacket, I'm wearing this sports coat. Uh, let me tell you, it's by Harvey and Jones. It is uh, proper tweed, British manufactured. I bought this in TK Maxx about eight years ago, and I've been wearing it ever since. It's really great, great quality tweed. It's really worked out well for me, and I, I can't remember how much I paid for it. It wouldn't have been much because 
I'm incredibly tight with my money. I'm gonna guess it was probably about 30 pounds. I wouldn't have gone more than that eight years ago. I've had about eight years of wear out of it and I'm gonna have another 10 years of wear out of it as long as it still fits me. So never discount the uh, budget retailers and look for more specific ones. So I, um, I used to buy a lot of my clothes from an outlet store, a Jaeger outlet store in Somerset. There's a retail village or an outlet village they used to call it and there was a Jaeger store there. Now Jaeger no longer exists. They went bust a couple of years ago but they were a fairly good quality off the rack um, tailoring house where you could buy suits. Their price point was between three to six hundred for a full suit and they would sell fairly good quality knitwear, shirts, things like that too. But their end of line stuff or their returned products they used to sell through their chain of outlet stores and I frequently used to buy suits from that store. I mean I remember once buying a grey uh, flannel suit from that store fitted me perfectly off the rack for £49. Now had I bought that while it was on full sticker price it probably would have been £350-400 but it fitted me perfectly and it was a suit that's still in my collection at home today. So when you see an outlet store don't just think you know it's just another way of getting money out of you. It may genuinely be an opportunity to get something for a fraction of the price. Now when we're talking about brands which sell their products onto the public directly rather than a wholesaler or a retail partner, um, factory stores are an amazing place to get some fantastic deals and I've had many over the years. If you're lucky enough to be near a factory store and have access to it, obviously that's the only issue. But sometimes they also have factory store um, online e-commerce opportunities. So if even if you don't live near a factory store, check out, see if there's an opportunity for you to get it through you know, the internet. Now, factory stores, I mean, I live fairly near Clark's, which is uh, a shoe manufacturer in Somerset, which are famous, most famous for their original Clark's desert boots. They were the first desert boot which really hit the mainstream in the world. They cost over a hundred pounds if you buy them in a store. I bought a pair of Clark's original desert boots in their factory store for I think 40 pounds a few years ago and there was nothing wrong with them. They were just pushing them out through their factory store. Maybe they were slightly imperfect, invisible to the ordinary person, but you know 60% off at least the normal price. Many, many opportunities. Earlier this year I did a video where I visited the Dents Gloves factory store. Now Dents Gloves are renowned as being some of the best gloves in the world, manufactured by hand in a small factory in Wiltshire. I was driving through the town, called in, had a look in the store and they had uh, peccary leather gloves which often retail for £400. They were for sale in that store, slight seconds, slightly imperfect, about 80 pounds, 80 to 100 pounds, you know, 25% of their actual normal retail price. So find out if you live near a factory store and if you can take advantage of these great prices, or even if you don't live near it. Next time you're on a journey somewhere that drives you through that part of the country, swing by and take advantage of the amazing deals which may be on offer to you. Another big classic, and I've shown this in videos before, is footwear. Now I uh, live in the south of England. I really find myself in the middle part of England, Northamptonshire, the home of the world's best Goodyear welted shoe companies. Crockett and Jones, Cheney, Church, Loke, Trickers. The names go on and on and on. They're all up there, Sanders and so on and so on. However, I was up there about two years ago on a trip through. I called into some of the factory stores. I did a video on that. I'll put the link to that in the show notes below. But in those factory stores, again, it was end of line shoes, maybe shoes that have been made as samples for uh, you know, other retail partners, shoes that were slightly imperfect, less than half the price. So if you're driving past, check them out. The frugal, well-dressed man need not break the bank to buy the best shoes in the world. And finally, to round off, the place where I find absolutely the majority of my total bargains pre-owned. eBay, for the most part. I know a lot of people are often balk at when I say buy pre-owned. 
you can save a fortune. You absolutely can. And don't turn your nose up just because they've been owned by somebody else. Those, if you buy wisely, you can make some purchases which are absolutely life-changing for the quality of clothing that you wear. Now, I've mentioned this one in the past, but a few years ago, I bought a Crombie overcoat. It's a coat, a company which no longer exists, but they were renowned for providing overcoats to royalty, to emperors, to the czars of the world. But sadly, their products were so good, so expensive, they didn't really have a place in the modern world. So a few years ago, they went into bankruptcy. But before that, they sold overcoats which were of incredible standard. And in this country, in the UK, they cost a thousand pounds from their store. I was fortunate enough to buy a Crombie overcoat which had been worn on one previous occasion, which fitted me like a glove. And I paid a hundred pounds for it because I saw it on eBay, I checked it out, I did the research, I conversed with the seller, I discovered its provenance, its history, its size. I bought it for 10% of its actual price and that coat will fit me for the rest of my life and it will probably fit my son for his life as well. Just the other day, I bought a beautiful, actual American US Navy issued pea coat, an original pea coat, um, which I purchased from eBay, I did some research, it was the perfect size, I corresponded with a seller, I found out that it was a lady who had bought the garment for her son, he wore it twice, he'd outgrown it, they were selling it on. I bought it for 22 British pounds, a garment which is excellent quality and I will wear, hopefully for the remainder of my life, and it's cost me nothing, just a few pounds. Now when it comes to footwear, there are great bargains there too. This is a pair of Loke Burford boots, which I bought probably about five years ago now. And I love these boots. They're great quality, great color. I've owned them in a couple of different colors, actually. They cost 250 pounds from Loke themselves. However, I didn't want to pay that much. So I did a bit of research, went on eBay, and I found this pair, which were unworn, more or less. I think they might have been more once or twice, light scuffing on the leather sole, so you can definitely see there was a little bit of light wear, maybe worn just outdoors once. I was able to buy them for £99, a fraction of their original price. These boots I'm going to wear probably for the rest of my life because they can be factory resold whenever I need that to happen. Next time round I'll probably have a day-night sole instead of the leather sole put on them. But I've also got another pair of these boots in a different colour that I had to pay £250 for. This is a genuine way of getting a great saving when it comes to items. Please don't turn your nose up. You know, you can get amazing savings for fantastic prices. I mean, look at this tie I'm wearing here. Might not look anything fancy. This is an Alfred Dunhill tie. Alfred Dunhill really classic men's tailoring house, bespoke suits, leather goods, you name it, luxury goods store. If you ever find yourself in German Street in London, pop in, Alfred Dunhill is like the high altar of men's style. Absolutely love it. Dunhill ties, all silk, handmade, um, absolutely beautiful, classic style, quite lean in its, um, in its profile. £2.50 off eBay. I've bought loads of ties off eBay. Dunhill, whoop, hit by a falling leaf. Dunhill is not necessarily the most trendy brand in the world. Those who know, know. Those who have never heard of Dunhill don't know what it is at all. So they don't necessarily get into a bidding frenzy for items like Dunhill ties on eBay. I've given you my secret away now, but to be honest, I've bought enough of them to last me for the rest of my life. But you have a look on eBay, chase after these brands, and you will get some amazing deals. So you don't have to suffer with embarrassment when you turn up to a formal event wearing running shoes or work boots or a polo shirt when everybody else is wearing a collar and tie. You can achieve amazing items at cheap, cheap prices. I was in a thrift store the other day in Gloucestershire and there were a whole row of Turnbull and Asser shirts that somebody had obviously donated in a batch and they were all on the row. And they were five pounds each. 
and this is a shirt which may cost 200 to 250 pounds if you walked into the store and bought them and they were all ever so lightly worn I ended up buying one myself in my size and fortunately they weren't all in my size or I'd have bought the lot but you can find those bargains and be the best dressed man in any room at a fraction of the price that you may think it would cost to be that smartly attired. I now charge you with this as a mission. Go out and get yourself something which is sartorially elegant, which costs just a few pennies. And when you've done it, send me an image, tell me about it in the comment section below or drop me an email. It will be absolutely great to do a video in the future which, in which we can show our fantastic bargains. So, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, click the red button, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel practically, you can buy me a coffee and you'll find the instructions on how to buy me a coffee in the show notes below. So until the next time, get out there, buy something sartorially superb for just a few pence. And I will see you again very soon. <laughs>